something to say, you should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings, but you have to admit I already do. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball. Hi, hello everyone and this video is going to be in English and you would know that uh, by now. So firstly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just go and subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so that uh, you could receive the uh, notifications all the time whenever I upload my videos. So okay, um, I have already told in the previous video that I'll be uploading a video in English because there were so many requests to make videos in English. So I thought of making a video in English uh, every fourth Friday of every month, okay? So I, I think it's clear. So every fourth Friday of every month, I'm saying this in every video because there, are, there might be someone watching this video for the first time so that I just wanted to make it clear if you want to follow the contents. So it will be easy for you and you can join the live. I'll be coming live every at least minimum twice. I'll be coming live in every month so that if you you can join the live, I'll be posting it regarding that regarding the live in a telegram group and in the YouTube and in Instagram page so you can follow me on all the social media websites so it will be easy for you to join in live and you could ask your questions in that also. Okay already I have uploaded two videos in English if you haven't uh, watched them you can watch it like farm the course explanation video in English and then another video is how to join a farm day in Tamil Nadu. So in this video what I'm going to share is it's a very small thing but I thought it is necessary to share with you in a separate video. What is the eligibility criteria to join FarmD? So like uh, there are two options. One is uh, how to join a FarmD after 12th standard and the second option is how to join FarmD after B form. So first let's see let's see how to join FarmD after uh, like how to join FarmD after 12th standard. So basically it is very simple. You have to study physics and chemistry uh, very importantly. Physics, chemistry, max. Even it's a pure, even if it's pure science also it's okay. But physics and chemistry is very very important. So even if you're a computer science student you can definitely join a farm because this is the major doubt many people are having. But even if you're a computer science uh, group, even if you're a pure science group, even if you're max uh, biology group, you can join farm D and the very important subject is physics and chemistry and max in case if it's not there also it's okay no problem because in first year you will be having a subject remedial biology or remedial max if you are a student from pure biology you have to study remedial max if you are from max biology you can choose between them it's up to your choice whether it's max or it's whether a biology so uh, like uh, in uh, the department like it's the well the group wise this is the thing uh, from any group you can join okay some group like home science is there i think even you can join uh, farmd so these are the uh, clarifications and uh, i think you have to know then next is what is the percentage requirement for farmd because this is also a major haunted question okay uh, basically it depends upon the college but maximum they'll expect from 70 to 80 percentage of your overall mark not in specific uh, subjects but overall they'll expect from 70 to 80 percentage and most of the colleges they don't conduct any entrance examinations only if it's either deemed universities like JSS, Ramachandra University, Wales University. So only these uh, deemed universities they conduct separate entrance for them based on the 12th uh, subjects what you're studying and from that you will be shortlisted. But it is very very minimum only for the deemed universities they follow this but mostly majority of colleges they just look into your 12th mark and with that if you're having from 70 to 80 percentage it's okay some colleges they may expect above 90 percentage above 85 percentage example in Tamil Nadu there is a college where they'll prefer only max biology students and they will be expecting a cutoff like if it's max biology they'll have a separate cutoff range and if it's a Computer science, they'll have a separate uh, cutoff range, so they'll be expecting in that category. So it depends upon the college, but overall, like you have to at least have a minimum of 70% of your mark to join FarmD, not below that. It will be a little hard if you go below 70% because a year you have only 30 seats and so many people are wanting to join FarmD. So it's difficult to get. So if you are interested in FarmD truly, you just try to maintain your percentage above 70. That is uh, very much sufficient.
okay so this is the first option joining farm d after uh, 12th standard so the second one is this is also a category uh, like joining farm d after b farm that is uh, farm d post baccalaureate i'll just say a very simple thing in this video because uh, we'll do a separate one on this topic so how means after completing your b farm you have to apply for counseling like uh, people will apply for m farm right the same way you have to apply for counseling like farm d post baccalaureate and in every colleges the seats will be varying few colleges will have two seats few will have five seats though it will be depending upon the college so through counseling you can uh, join farm d post baccalaureate and if you join farm d post baccalaureate you have to uh, study from farm d fourth year fourth year fifth year and sixth year so totally four years of b farm and three years of farm d you will be uh, studying total seven years in total seven years uh, so i think this information is very much sufficient about the uh, regarding the eligibility criteria for farm d and i hope this video is uh, useful for you and uh, definitely keep watching our channel definitely i'll upload videos in english and if i get very good response definitely i'll increase the frequency also and i hope you enjoyed the video and it was informative for you and until next video tata bye bye uh, never forget to like share subscribe comment everything bye